it's tough to answer, but it's also very simple to answer. I, I tend to probably oversimplify things. So for me, I'm just thankful you know, that I'm here. I'm healthy, and I'm well, family is good, home is stable. So I'm thankful. I have a terrible singing voice. <laughs> actors, actors don't make the best singers, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's it's over concentration on just doing voice, maybe. I'm not not thinking of you as a singer. But I am just more terrible than than the average actor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I love Castle. Castle. He's he's also a rebel lawyer, you know, and a professor of law. That that's me, in my other life. So there are a lot of things that I borrowed him to take. You know, he wears the red socks like me. <laughs> so so yeah, I, I love Castle. Castle. He's um, for me. He he represents the struggles and the trials that the average middle class or middle middle class family goes through, um, upper middle class if you like, maybe my wife, Mrs. Castle is more upper middle class than I am. I'm just a small rebel boy from Delta that made it to Unilag and, and, and more. <laughs> I don't know if it was written for me, but I'm glad that <laughs> Mo made the call. Uh, Mo has made some amazing calls in my life, and, and I appreciate that. And I'm, she knows I'm grateful. I call her King Mo, you know, because I know I know she she will call me if if, if she knows it is me that can deliver. It's leveling the playing field. I mean, putting you smack in the middle or smack in the competition with, with other cinema making uh, cultures of the world. I mean, we, we don't have, you know, the budget yet. Access to funding is still a challenge, but um, just being on the platform is, is, is a good platform that so you can be seen in all corners of the world. I recall being in a movie called Namatsi Wahala and it was, it trended in, or it was top 10 in other cultures, you know, or other countries. So yeah, I'm sure, you know, with Netflix, a lot, a lot of all, Nigerians in the diaspora, they love Netflix. They just want to consume everything that they can find on Netflix. Be all over the world. We don't have to now depend on on migration patterns of Nigerians. Because before, Nollywood was more about the migration patterns of Nigerians. You know, so if Nigerians were concentrated in, say, China, in, in Guangzhou, for instance, um, and they interact with the people there, then they will get to see Nigerian films. I remember very long ago, 1990, I think it was, or 19, yeah, 1990 or 91, I remember no, 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 I, 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 no, 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 it was more like 1998 or so, yeah, 98. I was stopped uh, uh, in customs in Chicago, and I remember the lady, she's, she's Mexican, Mexican-American. Um, uh, can I say Mexican-American? No, I think it's uh, Spanish-American Spanish or Latin-American. Latin. <laughs> well, or a Latina or Hispanic. She was looking through my luggage and she saw uh, VCDs or DVDs of Nigerian movies. And she looks at me and is like, oh, I know you. I have Nigerian friends. They watch your film. You know, so that was weird at that time. So, yeah. Um, but these days, you, they just it's click of a button. They, they look at you, actor. They look at you, your name pops up. Internet just shrinks the entire world. Not as much fun, uh, you know, because I still carry the green passport and it can be a hassle sometimes. 
I am proud of it. I always be proud of it. Uh, it gives you some headaches, yes, but hey, can't change your skin. <laughs> It has, it has already started translating into growth. I mean, like you said, a lot of us are recognized, you know, uh, across the globe now. And the value of the Nigerian performer, um, actor, or producer, or director is, is on the rise and rise. So yeah, it's, it's already translating. They are already taking advantage of it because the young are the ones, you know, ruling the airways right now. Um, how old is Kemi Adetiba? So I'm 60, so yeah, so the young are doing that. A lot of young, Tosi Ego, uh, the young people are doing great work. And of course, all the Academy uh, products from the ones that are products of the film festivals that run workshops to Ebony Live Studios. Not really. That's, that's just the best expression that I have. I, I majored in dramatic theory and criticism. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Acting is just the, the best form of expression. You know, if you don't want to, if you are not um, on television, if you're not doing like media arts, you know, uh, film and television. Film and television was just the course that I, that I did in, in the process of getting a degree in theater. With dramatic theory, you end up being a teacher or, or a writer. Uh, but I chose to be, I love the camera, so I chose to be in front of it. So acting, yes. What about producing? Producing, I already produced um, a series. My series, Mr. X, you know, uh, over 66 episodes. Uh, so producing is, is a favorite thing of mine. And um, you'll be hearing a lot more about that. So reaping the fruits of my labor. <laughs> it's been a lot of sowing, you know. I think I think it's harvest time, really. So I'll do some more work, but it's harvest time. Everything I do now is legacy. You know, um, your your name has to stand for something. And when you're able to build a brand and your brand is associated with some kind of value, that's legacy. Um, I think right now, if Mofeda Mito is mentioned, I think it's already in the co in, the, in the in the right track of, of legacy. Um, it's it's discipline. It's hard work. You know, is is an old to you know, self-worth, conduct, and, and family name and legacy. It's already doing that. It's media that is conscious, media that is wholesome, uh, media that, that stands as a mirror to, to uh, the rest of society, media that calls up leadership to be held accountable, media that holds leadership accountable. Um, I can't thank enough some of the young people who are doing skits that that call us all out and, and show us how we are and, and, and question some of the things that we hold as uh, as our moral, what we hold as our moral compass. Uh, so media is, is, is undoubtedly actually the only uh, place leading the fight now. Uh, if politics and good governance can step up a little bit up to where media is right now, then we'll be in a better space. Your life is not as really complicated as we think it is. Um, that love conquers all. And you don't need that. And this is important. My, 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 my physical is very important. You don't need as much food. <laughs> Your body doesn't need as much food as you think. Fouch, read my book, Portrait of a Warrior Boy. Uh, Feba Kitty Johnson, when I was going to get married to my late wife, she, she, he, said, he said to me that they, at that time, at that time she, was already, she already had initials, MBE. 
And so they were looking for a new school for me that would match at home. And I had someone here, and I walked over into the town of me and went to the me and went to the It was a lifelong moment, and I heard it was gone. Oh, my mom, my mom, my mom is gone. She, 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 she passed in 1999. No, unfortunately. But she, uh, she saw me going to school. Going to school. <laughs> I entered the club in 1997. So, uh, she saw me going to school. It was already happening in my second year in school when, I, when she saw me on television. Because that was a promise that we made to her. When she kept asking me what the answer was, I said it was a tablet, and then I would be a tablet. And my second year was a tablet. And the rest, she died as my mind. They, 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 they changed people who used to call say Mama Lynch. Some of her friends teased her and called her my mind. It was the first character I played on television, my first character on television ever, it was a play called The Wrath uh, of the Gods, or Echoes of the Gods. Written by Bobby and Chico, the musician. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a black guy. Not too far, right? But I'm hoping like two months. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right.